you seem to have been alone, um, or, or you seem to be pretty much alone on the war on Christianity. Why are you so passionate about that? And why are you willing to stand up by yourself mm -hmm. to really fight that fight? Some of the stories are just incredibly moving. You know, the story of Asia Bibi. She is in Pakistan. She's a Christian. There's not many Christians left. I have several friends of mine who were doctors in Pakistan that were Christians that have gone. I mean, there were used to be 4% Christians. Now it's less than 1%. It's a handful of Christians left. But her crime, according to the villagers, was she took water from a Muslim's well. And, um, you know, they began stoning her. It was just horrific. And the police arrived and she thought, oh, I'm safe. The police are here and she's calling out for help. And they arrested her. And now she's on death row for uh, blasphemy. And frankly, I've said, and I'm gonna introduce this again next week in Washington is that no American tax dollars should go to any country that persecutes Christians. So that means any country that has laws about blasphemy, has laws about apostasy, has laws about intermarriage between religions, they shouldn't get a penny of ours. And we can't tell them to change their rules, but we certainly should not be supporting countries and giving money to countries that are persecuting Christians. Mm -hmm.